have a really big problem with the way in which we treat money, the way in which we, we create money. And so this whole idea of digital scarcity, uh, it, it's like a, it's a, it's a beautiful innovation. Imagine, uh, uh, I think, a, time, a point in time in the future where, you know, your, you own your digital identity, and you own all the data that's associated with, you know, uh, all the things that you, you, you uh, look on online. Or, uh, or or spend or or, or search right uh, or your DNA you know for example or your fitness activity right and all of that is your data that a few com country uh, a few companies control right now. Right. Blockchain is an incredible tool for creating uh, transferable records that follow assets throughout markets. Blockchain as a whole is 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 much bigger than than, than crypto. You know, um, it's going to drive, uh, you know, the way people do business and settle, uh, you know, in using, you know, crypto. So you're going to get some good projects, crappy projects. You're always going to get those people that are like, ooh, get rich quick. I mean, that's in every industry. I don't care what. Yeah. Right. Um, unfortunately, this industry seems to get marred in scandal every time one person does something bad. This business, it requires uh, building of trust. Right. And so and trust is hard to earn. And, you know, it easy takes to lose. easy to lose, like Warren Buffett said. <clears throat> this is not a politicized factor. And yes, we need to be protected. And yes, we need. Canadians to know from a mass adoption perspective that they're safe in this space. But the reality is there's going to be a few skin knees and I think that's okay. But for the blockchain market in particular, some of the research I did found that we're currently undergoing a shift in the market um, away from people with uh, financial services specializations in blockchain, much more towards people with technical backgrounds. So that's really where the job growth is happening. A lot of talent and knowledgeable yeah. people that exist here, not only on the technical uh, scope and universities here, absolutely fantastic, okay. but also financiers, legal consultants, and the whole business infrastructure. You know, Europe, uh, our old but lovely Europe is so far behind. When we talk about blockchain on a global scale and mass adoption, it starts with education. Any new industry attracts the brightest minds, the most creative individuals, and that's what we're seeing. A lot of young people, too. young, old, People just want to come together and change the world. Governments uh, are basically seeing blockchain as a way to accelerate their economies mm. um, into, you know, a, a much more advanced digital future. Blockchain as a technology is an amazing tool for financials and transactions, as well as for prevention. But for the mass adoption, like people have to understand what the blockchain or the value of blockchain. Like everybody talks about how it works. Nobody talks about why is it good? It's not all about the money, it's all about innovations and you know, improving uh, lives.